fine, beginning to get some differences, but yeah, it was uncomfortable for some of our inland valleys out there. I know uh, for some of you, just way too hot. Look at this, Concord up to 91 degrees, Walnut Creek 90, Livermore, St. Helena, Morgan Hill, also in the 90 at 90 degrees as well. But we are starting to see things beginning to change. I know it doesn't feel like it out there right now, but you can see in our live Sky Camera Network here in San Francisco that fog is rolling in and pretty thick, and that is definitely dropping our temperatures here in San Francisco down five degrees cooler down two in Nevada, down seven in Santa Rosa, down seven in Napa, and eventually that'll translate to some cooler weather for the inland valleys later on tonight. Now we're going to keep this in play as we move through tomorrow, but there's also going to be some other weather changes moving in that's going to drop every single city's temperatures, uh, so you're definitely going to feel it. That heat that we had today in the past couple of days, that's going to start to move off towards the east away from us, and then we get this cold front moving in, and that's going to switch it up for us. Now there is some rainfall with it, but right now all of those rain chances, unfortunately, are going to be heading off to the north. So we'll get some cooler weather in here. I think we're solid for at least a 10 degree drop, and that wind is also going to be kicking up as well. So let's bring you into tomorrow morning, and you can see we'll start here over the South Bay at 50, 52 in the peninsula, and the Tri-Valley, 51 with a mix of sun and clouds. Going down to some of my chilliest weather here in the North Bay, where you probably still need a light jacket to start. 48 for you, San Francisco 53, and the East Bay, some patchy clouds, and 52 degrees. Temperatures, as I mentioned, will be dropping tomorrow everywhere. So down in the South Bay, instead of those mid and upper 80s, here you go. Back down to 74 in Los Gatos, 72 in San Jose. Also notice as we head through the microclimates, the wind will be picking up, so it'll be breezy out of the northwest at 19, and we'll see some high cloud cover moving through the afternoon as that system passes across. So I definitely think through the day tomorrow, it's going to feel different for you. Out into Concord, 77 degrees, and we got those chilly 60s right near the bay through the peninsula. Cold 58 here in Half Moon Bay, back to Redwood City, 70. San Francisco, 60s here through downtown and the Mission. Go anywhere near the coastline and you're going to be in the 50s. And right through the North Bay, 73 in Nevada, 75 in Napa, and right up towards Clear Lake, 76. On my seven-day forecast here in San Francisco, we keep these on again, off again. Wind gusts right at the coastline, 15 to 35 miles per hour through this weekend. Daytime highs staying in the 60s with those morning lows dropping down into the 50s. So some fairly typical weather here for San Francisco. I think you'll definitely notice a lot of those differences for the inland valleys. We have some comfortable weather next two days. We'll be in those 70s. We get that wind tomorrow, 15 to 35. Then we heat up this weekend with that wind increasing, 15 to 35. So that's going to increase the fire danger. And look at this. This is just unbelievable here. We're going back up into those upper 80s as we roll into next Tuesday, 89 degrees, close to some more record setting heat. So uh, Janelle and